Australians aren't really known for creative names. We call grey kangaroos, grey kangaroos, red kangaroos, red kangaroos. And this guy here is the common or green tree snake. And he's the animal that we're going to look at in this week's video. So stick around, guys. We're having a look at one of the most commonly encountered snakes in northern Australia. When it comes to Australian snakes, we've got a lot of diversity here in Australia. We're famous for having more elapids than any other place in the world. We've got a lot of pythons here in Australia. When it comes to colubrids, which are the most widely distributed and, and diverse family of snakes in Australia, we only have a handful of them. And probably the most commonly encountered one is this guy here, the common tree snake or the green tree snake. Now, I don't particularly like these names. They might, common might be fitting because these guys are pretty commonly encountered, but I feel like common makes an animal feel like we don't need to worry about it. Things like common brush tail, common wombat, things like this. It deserves a cooler name than that. But the name green tree snake is also a bit misleading. This guy here is a nice example. He's sort of got some nice greeny blues through him, but these guys come in a massive variety of colors. They come from blue, through to sort of greens, greys, uh, all the way down to black. I used to live in a part of Queensland where all the green tree snakes are black with yellow bellies. And I spent more time convincing people there's no such thing as a yellow belly black snake than I did catching the actual snakes. So the names can be a bit misleading. Now, while we don't have many of these colubrids here in Australia, the genus that this guy's a member of, Dendrolathus, is found of, made up of over 40 species and is found everywhere from Pakistan to southern China to here in Australia. And here we only have two, the common tree snake and the northern tree snake. But this is a really widely distributed family. This species, the common tree snake, is found here in Australia from about New South Wales, or halfway up New South Wales, right to the tip of Cape York, and all the way up into Papua New Guinea. Now, one thing about the name is, of course, the tree snake. That part stands true. These guys are an arboreal snake. They spend the vast majority of their time up in the air, and when they're in the ground, it's usually heading from one place, one in an arboreal environment, one tree, to another. They're a bit out of place on the ground. But up in those trees, they're hunting everything from frogs through to geckos. But these guys will even come down to the water's edge and have recorded feeding on fish. These guys aren't like a python where they coil up on a branch and they sit still and wait for something to walk past. These guys are long, thin, athletic snakes able to move through the canopy like grease lightning. They're very fast snakes. They catch anything else, little geckos getting around the canopy. So they're really active predators compared to our other arboreal snakes here in Australia. Unfortunately though, this diet of geckos and frogs leaves them susceptible to a parasite, a parasitic tapeworm. And this lives in their digestive tract, but when they've been infected for a while, these tapeworms migrate to the skin. And it's not uncommon to find these guys with big sort of lumps, soft spongy masses under the skin that uh, when you, you take them out, there's a big long worm underneath. Now, it doesn't seem to affect them too badly when they're in small uh, numbers, but these guys can be absolutely riddled with them. And it looks pretty horrible for the poor tree snake. Such a thin snake, be covered with these big masses all over their body, but it's a side effect of the diet and lifestyle that they live off. Now, they're also completely harmless to people. These guys don't have a venom that worries people or anything at all. They're an inoffensive snake. They're not inclined to bite, but they do have a different defensive mechanism. When you get these guys scared or nervous, they release a smell out of their cloaca and it absolutely stinks. It's hopefully enough that if you're looking at eating one of these guys, they want to think twice. It smells wretched and it sticks to your skin. It's nasty stuff. So it's their own little defensive mechanism because he doesn't have a, a, a mouthful of giant fangs. He's not particularly venomous like some of our other snakes. So that's his defensive mechanism to smell really bad and to get away really fast. But all things considered, he's a really inoffensive snake. And it's lucky because this is one of the most commonly encountered snakes in parts of Queensland. It's found in backyard streets from you know, Brisbane through to the tip of Cape York, Townsville, Cairns, places like that. And he's able to live alongside people quite peacefully and mind his own business and he's not gonna to cause too much trouble. If you are lucky enough to live in these areas and you find a snake in your backyard though, there is a real knack to identifying snakes. People ask me how to identify snakes all the time. And it's something that I try to avoid teaching because there's so many little details that we look at. So just because this guy's harmless, if you do see a snake in your backyard, contact an expert, call a snake catcher, deal with somebody who really knows what they're looking at and leave all snakes alone. Nobody has ever been killed or bitten by a snake saying, whoop, I'm gonna leave that thing alone and call somebody else. So it's your safest bet. There's lots of people that can help you out, but you also wanna call your dogs away, things like that, because this guy here is an important part of the ecosystem. He's harmless, he deserves to be here, as do all snakes, and uh, we wanna let him continue on his life. So we'll try and be nice to him. Now, I hope you've enjoyed learning about this guy. He's a really cool little snake. He's something special here in Australia and something a bit different to our other reptilian fauna. But if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Facebook. And while you're on Facebook, 
check out Lilydale High School. They're the facility that actually owns this guy. They've got a reptile facility full of uh, Australian reptiles and amphibians where the students feed them and look after them and learn to breed them. And it sets them up for careers, working with wildlife for the rest of their lives. So it's an amazing facility. And they've been kind enough to let us film with this cool snake here. So check them out on Facebook. Tell them Wicked Wildlife sent you. But between now and then, I hope uh, you're nice to snakes. Check out from back next week for the next video. And I'll, I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Take care.